Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make something a little different today. And I saw a little short clip video of this on Instagram. I don't know who did it or what, you know how you can see those little videos pop up. Well, I saw that video pop up and it went right on through, so I have no clue. I am not doing mine like hers because she didn't give a full tutorial, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> we're going to do one similar, maybe. But it's going to have the same concept. I am using a piece of card, well, this is a piece of pattern paper that is nine inches long and it is four and a half inches wide. So nine long and four and a half inches wide. And we're going to score, I'm going to use my scoreboard, and we're going to score at one half inch all the way down. And then we're going to score at four all the way down. So that's on the short side, one half and four. Okay, then we're going to turn it to the long side, and you're going to score at three and three quarters, and then you're going to come on up and score at seven and one quarter. Okay, three and three quarters, seven and no, I'm sorry, seven and three quarters. So three and three quarter and seven and three quarter. Sorry about that, told you wrong, didn't I? Okay, so that's got our scoring done. Now, this is just a piece of scrap that I had, and it is two inches wide. And then I just left it the length that it was. I think it's 12 inches, close. It's like 11 inches, because I'm gonna end up cutting it down anyway. But it's two inches wide, and I just scored it down the middle and folded it. Okay, so that's all you need to do. We're gonna glue this together. Let's just go ahead and do that first. And I'm just going to glue it all because I don't know what journal this will go in right now. So I don't know what length I want it. So I'm just going to glue it all together and put this little creation together. And then I can trim this off whenever I get ready to put it in a journal. That makes it a little bit easier. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have that piece there, and it's, I got a little bit out there. Looks like I didn't cut it exactly straight, so let's go ahead and trim that off. Okay, now, you know, I wish that Instagram would take the same videos that YouTube does, because YouTube, you can do that wide format, and you have to do the little narrow one on Instagram, and it's hard sometimes for me to see exactly what they're doing. Now, I turn this where my pattern would be up, like that. You just look at your pattern, and if your pattern, let's say your, this is the, let me turn this around. This is the up right here, okay? But I know I'm going to fold this up this way to make this a little pocket. So I want this to be up, not upside down. And if I folded it on the other end, these flowers would be up, upside down. So just make sure that you look at your pattern and your largest score line, that three and a half one, or that three and three quarter one, is going to be on the side that you're going to fold up to be the front of your pocket. So just keep that in mind. Three and three quarters, seven and three quarters. I'm going to go ahead and trim this. Now I'm going to go in a little bit below that score line that goes across there. And then I'm going to go up the inside of that score line that goes straight up. So you want to cut on the inside of it, not on the score line, but cut on the inside. And then we're going to go down on this one and do the same way, cut on the inside, not the outside all the way down to that score line and then you're just going to go out a little bit like that okay now i'm going to go ahead and, and angle these you don't have to these are going to wrap around but just a habit so i'm going to go ahead and angle those a little bit now i'm going to take my corner rounder and i'm going to round the top here this is my little flap so i'm going to round these off. You could cut it off at an angle, do whatever you would want to. So there's our little pocket. And that's just open. That's the way to look. And then when we close it up, these wrap around. 
And the reason I had you to trim that off on the score line on the inside is so that this won't catch when it's, you start to fold it over. If it does, if it has a little resistance here, just trim this a little bit more. But that's what you get right there. You've got your little wraparound pocket. And so see, this is a full pocket here. Let's go ahead and punch our pull in the top of this. I don't think I did my other one, but I think I may be able to still go in and do that. Punch a little bitty pull in here, if I can. Well, you you got to put the thing in the right way, Edith. There we go. It really hadn't been that long since I used this thing. You'd think I'd still know how to use it, wouldn't you? Okay. You got to release it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody out there was looking at that going, oh my goodness, she didn't even release it. And she's trying to get her paper under there. You know, some days your brain just don't work right, does it? Especially my brain right now. I've got too many things on my brain. And I really do think that your brain sh shrinks up the older you get. Because I think mine has shrunk big time. Okay. Okay. So I got it inked a little bit. Now that's going to wrap around like that and these are going to glue on the back. So just go ahead, glue these. Just give them a good press to spread that glue out. There we go. So that is our little pocket. Now I'm going to show you what a good thing this bone folder is. This is a Teflon bone folder. You see how that flap is sticking up? No matter how many times I rub it down like that, it still pops right back up. Take your bone folder and really go in there and press on that and then look. And the more you do that, the more that will flatten out. It's amazing what that does, what that bone folder does. All right, I went ahead and did two. Now this one you can see I did upside down because I didn't pay any attention to which way my pattern run, but I'm still gonna use it. So you'll need two if you're gonna do this. If you're gonna do it like I'm doing anyway. I don't think she did two. Um, she just did one, but I wanted a double-sided pocket, so we're gonna do two. And I'm gonna stick this in there if I can. And just cut a little pull out of that. And go ahead and put a little bit of ink on it just to cover up any messes that I might have made when I trimmed. Okay, so there we have two pockets and we have our little one inch wide piece. So what we're going to do, this is going to be a little slider belly band. Slider belly band. We're going to put these two pockets back to back, so you need to make both of them the same size. We're going to put them back to back just like that, where our flaps are this way, flap this way, see, and then this is going to go about in the middle. Just what I'm going to do is kind of line it up on my grid here. You can measure, do all kinds of measuring. I'm just going to line mine up on the grid, and then I'm going to put this even with one of the grids right there maybe if it'll let me there line that back up I just want to get this as straight as I can right here there we go now I'm gonna take my pencil and I can always erase these little marks I'm gonna glue down to those marks on the back side. So just mark wherever you're going to put your little piece through here. Just mark that so you'll know where to stop with your glue. So let's go ahead and mark this one. Same way. We're going to mark it right there. Mark it right there. And there. Okay, had to look see where my other mark was. It's been raining a little bit here today. It's kind of half raining, half sunshine kind of day. All right. 
Now we're going to flip this over and I'm just going to hold my finger where that mark is. I know it probably needs to be on the back, but we're going to put it this way. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be right up to that. Just close enough that it won't slide around all over the place. So there's that one on the bottom. So I'm just going to come down below that and put a little bit of glue there. Okay. Then we're going to put this in there. And I'm going to put it somewhere in between. Let me make sure I got that up. Yep, I do. Somewhere in between my marks. And then we're going to lay this down. And I am just kind of looking under there to make sure I'm not gluing this piece together. I want that piece to be loose. Okay. If you do get any glue on it, pull it back up real quick. The best thing to do is just put it in there and then just kind of slide it back and forth for a little while. Make sure that you're, it's not sticking to anything. There we go. Now I'm going to press this top part and the bottom part down. But I'm not going to press too close to that because I want to keep sliding that just so if any glue did seep out up that way that it's not going to stick it together. Okay, see it's already trying to. So let's slide it, slide it, slide it back and forth until that glue sets a little bit. There we go. That, that should be good right there. Now we've got a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side but then you have a belly band and these pockets slide back and forth on that belly band i know it's just it's something different but i think it's fun it's not something that you would need to make i don't guess but i just think it's fun it's something different all right let's just say you wanted to put it on this page then i would just take my belly band and cut it off to the length here and here, or I just run it up probably like this, and then I just cut that much off, and then glue down here at the bottom and at the top, and this will slide back and forth your little pockets. I'm going to go ahead and erase my marks here. Now you say, well, if you put your belly band down like that and glue it here and here, then you can't. There's no way you can get to that back pocket. You're exactly right. Like That's why she did one on the top and didn't do one on the back, but we're gonna do one on top and bottom. Now, I don't think I'm gonna put it on that page, but let's go ahead and mount it on a page. Um, well, I may have to put it on that page. We could actually, let's see. No, that's too busy. Let's see if we can find a spot that's not quite. Oh yeah, that'll work right there. Okay, I am going to just kind of imagine where my middle part is. And then I'm going to trim this off. Okay, right there is the height that I need. But I'm going to go one more half inch. So wherever that mark is, on your, it's the height that you... Ever how high you need this or tall you need it, you need to leave a half inch more. So let me make sure that I did that. Yep, it's seven and three quarters and I cut it at eight and a quarter, so that's about right. So we're just gonna trim this right across here. And I'm just gonna go for it that way. Now I'm going to fold this part right here back to where my mark was for the height of this. I'm folding just a tiny bit back like that. Okay. Now. Okay, that's good. That's a bottom pocket. So there we go. We're going to we're going to fold that over on the opposite side. See what we're doing? See if I can get it over here in the light. This, uh, my light on this side is a light light. The one on this side is coming through the window. So this side's a lot lighter. And I apologize for 
that not being so bright there. There we go. Maybe that's a little brighter. Move some of those light things out of the way. Now, so this we're folding over the back side, and we're going to glue that right there. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. So we're gluing that right there. This one down here we're not going to glue because we want to be able to use that back pocket. So let's go ahead and just say about where we want that. I think that's a good little spot right there. Let's go ahead and glue that down. Okay, got that glued down. And see, it doesn't hurt anything on that side. And if you don't like the looks of that, you could put a little piece of trim or something across there. This is our journal that we're going to be making a cover for. Hopefully, I'll get it done tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay. So then here at the bottom, we don't want to glue that. So what we're going to use is... We're going to use a magnet. Now, you could use a Velcro if you'd rather use a Velcro, but I'm going to use a magnet. These little magnets are really, really thin, and they're easy to put on, so I just like to use those. The, the hardest part about these is getting them out of the little plastic shell. Whoops. Okay. Had to drop that on the floor and had to get it up. So, I'm going to peel the backing off of this. And then on the back side of this, we're going to put our magnet down. Now I've got the magnets stuck together. You can see they're stuck together. And I'm going to pull that over and just stick it down right there. Now you could go ahead and round this, the corners on this if you want. Do lots of different things. Right now I'm just kind of showing you how this will work. Then we'll pull that up so you can see we have a magnet here and then a little magnet up here. Now I want to go ahead and put a cover on this just so that it won't show. Now you could have, you could put it on this back side underneath that pocket if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave it like that. It's not a big to me. Um, let's see. Let me find some paper that will work to punch out a couple of little dots. Well, I don't think I have a scrap of this paper, so we're just going to do a little dot out of this. And this is, this little punch was a create no, a stamp it up. Start to creative memories. I don't know where that come from. It's a little stamp it up punch that I've had long, 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 long time. But it is the exact same size of these magnets. It works perfect. And it, I'm just going to put a little glue on top of that magnet. You could use score tape or whatever. I just put a little glue on it and let it sit there for a minute. And then a little glue here on this one. Now, you don't have to cover your magnets up. That's not a biggie. You can leave it uncovered if you want. But I have some people that say, why did you put your magnet on top? I would cover it. So, I'm going to cover these. Now, I need to wait till that dries. If I don't, it's just going to pull right back up. So we're just going to sit for just a second and let that dry good. All right. I think it's dry enough. So now you can just do that. Your little, this little thing closes down. You've got your pocket here that you can put a little tag in. And then you can open it up and you've got a little pocket. Let me get it down. Got a little pocket here that you can put that in, something in. And then this slides back and forth. You know, just in case, maybe you wanted it down here to do journaling or something up here. You can slide it down there. Like I said, it's just another element. It's not something that has to be done, but it's just another another little element. And you could just make this where it's stationary right in the middle if you wanted. But I just think it's cute. Like I said, I saw that sh little short video. It was like maybe, a, I don't know, it wasn't even a minute. And I just tried to figure out how she made it. And I made this one, or I made a little prototype somewhere over here. Here's my little prototype. I didn't even make it like a full journal, uh, full pocket. 
and then I just put another little piece of paper on the back. So you could do it that way too if you don't want to double pocket. Just put another little scrap of paper on the back because it's not going to show. Just leave opened where you're, this is going to slide back and forth so that you don't glue that down. And then just put your little pocket on there and it's done. That's all you have to do. Alright, so that's going to be another element in this journal. I think that's cute. So that will slide back and forth. And it'll slide better once I, the glue kind of dries completely. Right now I'm just trying to keep the glue going. But that's it. That is our little double pocket slider belly band. How does that sound? <laughs> double pocket slider belly band. And you could go ahead and decorate this if you want. I may just leave mine like it is. I don't know. I like all this paper on here and I don't know of anything that I want to decorate it with unless I put a little label or something there and I may do that and then the back side is upside down so I may come back and put something on that I don't know but then it just snaps back down and like I said you can use velcro here if you want to you don't have to but you can use velcro there uh, let's find just a little label to stick right here and I'm just going to use one of these Tim Holtz labels um, I'm just going to use a little black one. These are the Big Chat. Don't think we have any more of these. Um, let's just put Blessed on here. And just put it maybe right across there. like that okay all right guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more quick and easy videos like this where we give full details on what we do make just let me know in the comments below leave me a comment and let me know what you think about a little pocket slider pocket belly band like this i would like to know your thoughts and we'll talk to you guys later Bye bye